Welcome to Vintage Variety. This week I'm going to be doing an unboxing from a fellow YouTuber. This will be a two-part content. The first part of the content will be this week and the second part I will be showing next week because there are quite a few items to go through. Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. These items came from Marzena over at Amberzina Sunshine. If you aren't familiar with her channel, there is a link in the description box below this video. One important thing that I did want to mention that I noticed on her channel is when you go to her channel, you won't see any content up. But if you click on the tab where it says live, it'll show you all of her past auctions. And that will kind of give you a good idea of the types of items that she has to offer. So let's get this opened up. This is going to be a two-part video, mainly because there's quite a few items in this box and I want to keep the content as short as possible. So I have about half of the items unpacked. This is an adorable thank you card. Marzena is very creative and she also does a lot of handmade items on her channel. I'm gonna open this one first. I think, okay, so these are great, guys. Let me show you what these are. These are necklace extenders. I bought quite a few of these from her because they come in really handy. These are magnetic. So that's two. Ooh. Let's just get them all poured out so you guys can get a good look at them. I really liked the fact that these were magnetic. They simply pull apart, but it's a really strong magnet, so you don't really have to worry about it coming undone. And these are great, especially if you have one of those necklaces that you want to throw on relatively quickly. Bought two gold and one silver of that. And then I also bought the extenders like this. Bought different sizes. I believe she had different options and I purchased one of each. These are awesome, especially if you have a necklace that's really short and you wanna wear it longer. Aren't those lovely? These are onyx. They're set in sterling and they have marcasites. A good look at them. I think we have another smaller package. This is a beautiful gold tone brooch. I like the size of that. It looks like a lover's knot. This one is a gift. A gift just for you. Okay, so let's get this opened up and have a look at it. Everything's wrapped so nicely. A vintage purse. Wow, so she really must know what I like. Look at the inside of this. It is in pristine condition. There is the original tag on this. Let's see if we can get a look at what it says. Japan, so this is a vintage Japan beaded purse. Is that not beautiful? Thank you so much, Marzana, if you're watching this. I really love this, this is beautiful. I'm going to show you the back first. Sunshine Amberzina 2023, and she made this. Is this not beautiful? I can only imagine the amount of work that she put into this, but I love this. It is a small journal, and she did all of this work that's on the front of it, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. 
and she also sells these on her channel. This is the next item. However, there are other items that go along with this one. So I'm going to pause recording for a minute and get those laid out and then I will show you. So all of these items came together. I won them on an auction. Often on her sales, some of her items are buy it now and some of them are auctions. And one thing that she does that is really fun is she will take a purse, sometimes a small designer handbag, often a vintage purse, and she will fill it full of items. And as people bid on it, she adds a few more items. I was lucky enough to win a couple of these, and this is the first one. I'll probably show you the second one in part two, but let's have a look at all of the wonderful things that came with this. First, I'm going to take this vintage purse out and show you this. This is absolutely beautiful. It has all of this beadwork done on a satin background. And look at the handle on this. I love this. This is in really good condition, excellent condition. It's very clean on the inside. This one also has its original tag inside. This is a vintage Safco bag, and this was made in Hong Kong. The scarf was part of the items that came with the bag during the auction. I'm going to take this out so you guys can get a good look at it. This is a beautiful animal print scarf, and I think this would look pretty worn or tied onto a purse. This is the jewelry that came with the bag. I'm going to open this up and show you guys all of the wonderful pieces of jewelry that was included in this. Some of it's vintage, some of it's fashion, and there's even some pieces of sterling in here. Is that not pretty? It's in excellent condition. All of her items are going to be in good condition, if not, she usually points it out. And I think this one is signed Vintage Hong Kong. Then we have this lovely long strand of tiger's eye. These are the earrings that goes with this first necklace that I showed. That's nice, we have a little set here. Another strand of natural stone beads. And for the life of me, I can't remember what these are. Is this not cool? It's costume, but I think it's neat. I like it because it's a flower. Beautiful silver tone apple brooch. And this is just one of those straight stick pins. Another brooch, and this one looks like a champagne bottle. I think you would wear it like this. It looks like the champagne's pouring out of it. This is more of a modernist style. It's a mother and child. I think this is also very pretty. Another costume ring. This one is a stretch. This necklace, this is pretty. This looks like it's done in copper. This came from Mexico, guys. This is a real stone bead. It is done on this cord. And the reason I know that it came from Mexico, and she mentioned this in the auction and I'd forgot about it. It is marked Ishkaret. And that, it's a really beautiful place. It's not too far from Cancun. She mentioned in the auction that she had been there. And I have been there also when, um, Went there one year for vacation, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I really like this. This brings back memories. Another brooch, and I love this, guys. Assuming this is the sun, it almost looks like one of those moon faces. But then you can see it has this around it. Very modernist. Some vintage laurel birch clip-ons. These look like cats. I think if I'm not mistaken, I have a couple of pieces of laurel birch in my collection. Another small brooch, this one is a rose. I love how it has the purple stone in the center of it. Another ring, and this one, guys, this is actually 925. 
Hopefully you guys can see that where it's marked 925. As the auction moves along and the bids go up on the purse, she does add some pieces of 925. This is beautiful. Another pair of earrings. These are post earrings. These look like these would have been from the probably the 1990s and they are enameled. This is a enameled necklace. And this one is signed. There is the marking on this one. It's not coming in too clear. I believe that says NRQ. A beautiful pair of rhinestone earrings. Look at this little guy, a little bee pin. This is a tie tack. It looks like a squirrel. And this one is also signed. This one is signed Avon. A beautiful pair of faux pearl earrings. And this type of earring is really in style this year. The pearl earrings that have a piece that dangle from them, this is really in style. So I will most likely wear these. Another pair of clip-on earrings. These are vintage and these are marked. These are Coro. So there are quite a few marked pieces or signed pieces. This is a vintage necklace. Isn't this pretty? It has a rhinestone in the center. Another vintage necklace. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Look at this. Has a very Victorian vibe to it. Beautiful. And this one is also signed. This one is Avon. This is a vintage cameo necklace. It's on a gold chain and it is reversible. We have another necklace here. And this is art glass. I think I have another necklace, not identical to this, but similar that I got from Dana Stewart Coates. And it also has these beautiful earrings to match it. The last necklace that I'm going to show you guys is this one. It's made out of a shell. Isn't that pretty? It looks as though they've cut it in half. You can see here on the back. The strand on this necklace is also some type of shell. I believe this is dyed shell. At least that's what it feels like. This is the closure on this. This is just a very unique necklace. There are also earrings that go with this and they are made out of shell. So make sure that you check her channel out. Again, that's Amber Zeno Sunshine and it is in the description box below this video. Next week, I'll show the remaining items that I purchased from Marzana, so please drop by and check that content out also. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to share these items with me. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.